Hey fellow agents, Bruce Sepras here. Uh, this is like the third take on me recording this build. I didn't realize how loud the uh, game sound was. And I'm um, playback. It's hard to hear me, so. Uh, here's just an example of a unbreakable raid build. Um, this, it took me a while to put this together, but I'm pretty happy with it. Decent amount of health. 90 about 92,000 and uh, armor just under 300,000. So unbreakable. I got 12 blue, seven reds. I'm using the uh, classic M60, so the high damage. Uh, depending on, oh, I think it's depend on which holster or knee pads I use. This is either this uh, 34 roughly or 35k unhinged gives you that extra 20% allegro 10% rate of fire and we get 10% um, bonus armor while deploying a skill not that I use the skills that much uh, I'm just using the five hive and the chem healer and I don't have a uh, you know the extra 20 mag or or the 50 plus 50 bag or sack whatever you want to call that thing so i use you'll see the um dodge city holster sometimes for fast reloads anyway nemesis right now just over 400,000, and uh, that can give you the uh, Jumping ahead here just to show that preparation while holster to gain 25% plus headshot damage when scoped with the current weapon. So that depends on the scope on your weapon. I did a, a test, you'll see that at the end of this video, the results of that test. Mass Badger Tough um, damage to Elite 7% plus. I rolled 43% times two elites for a total of 50. And we have some extra health on here, 4% and 11,000. Sometimes I'll switch to uh, this Marikami. Uh, for Weasel, it has the additional hazard protection. So, um, say 8% health. Well, then I don't forget to switch back after Weasel, which I do. So uh, I have three pieces of Gila Guard. Just happened that way. I didn't make a point of trying to do that so because I'm not using the Pulse. So that's a waste. <clears throat> but we have total 5% total armor, 20% hazard protection, which is good, I guess, against Weasel with that poison stuff. 13% uh, weapon damage was rolled on there from, I don't know what it was, a backpack or a chest piece that was at the uh, clan vendor a couple of weeks ago and unbreakable is activated because I have at least 11 blue then we have um, two defense slots one offensive so we have extra armor shock resistance poison resistance weapon damage damage to armor rifle damage and some more poison resistance so just on this alone, there's 23% uh, poison resistance. So that's a good thing. Dodge City holster um, has the quick draw talent. Swapping to your pistol reloads all weapons. So I just hit the number three key on my keyboard to uh, grab my pistol. That reloads the LMG, switch back. To the LMG hitting the number one key it takes a second or two to do that and I have a fully loaded M LMG versus uh, it takes a really long freaking time to just reload the LMG normally um, when I'm not using that you know there's a couple of other options here 34k extra health uh, what am I looking for? There was another holster. It's 
40k health. Anyway, but this this is the one to go to holster using the LMG. That's you know basically for Razorback. I don't want to be out of ammo uh, <coughs> when the Chunga attacks your missile launcher. You need to be able to reload really fast if you're out of ammo. So the Gilligard backpack gives me nine percent weapon damage. I rolled on there on the ropes is not activated. Um, 20% poison resistance, so I think we're at 40 poison resistance now. And a little more health, and the 18 and a half armor is nice. That's sweet, that helps. Gloves 11% LMG damage, 10% damage to elite's hard hitting, and a utility. Slot uh, some skill power, Agent a little more explosive damage, two and a half percent. Knee pads. I switched over to this one. Gives me more armor, eight percent health, and the hard hitting damage to elites. So I think that puts me at seventy percent damage to elites. I do have one with patience and some armor. Um, that puts me. Over 300,000, 313,000. If I feel like I'm dropping a lot, I could switch to that. But I, um, I, I change it to get the additional damage to elites. Stats. It's about 34,000 weapon damage, depending on um, which knee pads and holster I use, or it's either this or 35,000. Then I have a headshot damage is a little less. I forget what I changed that, that changed that it was higher. And uh, all weapon damage bonus almost 50, 48 percent. LMG is 26. Um, I see those numbers change a little bit depending on uh, the gear that I mentioned. This drops a little lower, that drops higher. Damage to elites is almost 80. I think that's because of the scoop. Um, that's pretty much it. So hopefully this video came out a little better and you can hear me better. And um, and it's recommended, I call it a beginner's raid build because uh, it gives you a lot of survivability with the unbreakable. Um, if your armor is destroyed, you instantly get another 70% armor. Um, but it's also got decent damage if you use an LMG. It's not easy to put together. You have to uh, have a lot of gear that you farm and grinded for to uh, be able to you know mix and match and recalibrate and stuff to to do a uh, unbreakable build but that's often recommended for somebody just starting out in their raids and um, that's pretty much it see you in the raids Hey, fellow agents, first up for us here, uh, decided to test the M60 light machine gun with uh, different scopes I've been using, or thought about using, and the uh, having the Nemesis as the secondary weapon to check the damage. Um, so, I made a spreadsheet, I'm going to try to follow what I have in the spreadsheet. So here we have the classic M60 base damage right now 33.9 secondary weapon is a rifle ACR SS has no <coughs> talents or mods for um, headshot damage or damage to elites and I'm gonna get rid of that scope so right now there's no scope 
I don't have Nemesis as a secondary. I'm going to change the um, difficulty to normal. Okay. Should be about 64,000 headshot damage. There it is, 64, 378. These are base damage. Uh, if we're just hitting like a red NPC. So now we switch it to Elite. Might uh, change a little bit because it, the target's farther. It's gonna be kind of hard to hit that head. One ten five three seven is what I had before. So that's we've gone from sixty four thousand to one hundred ten thousand, almost double. Once we change the uh, NPC to elite, because. I have 70% um, damage to elites on my other gear. Now, alright, so we're going to put the plus 30 scope on here. Actually, there's no mods in this LMG, so. I might be using the wrong one. But anyway, these are the numbers uh, that I was getting before. So let's stick with this. Oh, there is a mod. All right. Don't mind me. It's Sunday morning. So here we have the 30 plus 30% 30 headshot damage. Scope. CQBSS. 8X. Scope. And so I still have the rifle. to hit with the uh, unhinged 132.54 it's pretty close to what I had before so that's with the 30 scope and the regular right now we switch to nemesis Seven three eighty three. I think it was. Yeah, one forty seven three eighty three. So there is an increase from one hundred thirty thousand to one hundred forty seven thousand with this scope with Nemesis. Now we change. to the 5% scope, 5% damage to elites, the C79, 3.4 times. We have 131.029. with the, um, I, I forgot to switch the rifle, that's, that's with the nemesis as the secondary, so it's 130, 131k damage, and if we switch back to the rifle, 
it drops to about 113. And you're gonna, I'm gonna include the spreadsheet at the end of this, so you'll get to see that all the numbers. You don't have to try to memorize that. 113. So with the C79 3.4x, 5% damage to elites scope. You do get the buff from the Nemesis. You just uh, with the Nemesis, it was 131k, and now with the rifle, it's just 113. And then if we switch to the 8x scope, I'm sorry, not 8x. 8% damage to elites. The EXPS3 holo site you will not see a buff using the nemesis that's the only one that you don't and I don't know, I'll probably try going on reddit later to see what the explanation is for that so here we have um, with the rifle not the nemesis 114 And if we switch the secondary to Nemesis, still 114. I don't know if you saw that. Well, a little more there, 115. So, um, yeah, so it's just the, uh, the EXPS3 holocyte scope with the plus 8% damage to elites. It doesn't get the buff from the nemesis so anyway um, this is you know on my uh, raid unbreakable build <clears throat> unbreakable is active uh, on the holster right now it's got the Dodge City just for fast reload for the extra 10% LMG damage. So I, I use the uh, Dodge City Gunslinger holster for Razorback so I don't get caught without ammo when the Chunga attacks my missile launcher. That's it. Uh, see you in the raid.